So you are considering getting baptized or considering baptism. How exciting, but also how intimidating, as it usually leaves us with questions like, why should I even consider it? Or I've been baptized as a baby. Should I still get baptized as an adult? Or what is it? What does it look like? Do I have to get fully immersed into water? Do I need baptism to be saved? And, and what do I need to do if I actually do want to go through with it and get baptized? These are all valid questions and honestly good questions to ponder. But I want to just take like, fifth, like four to five minutes uh, to address each of these questions so that you can make a clear decision if baptism is for you or not. So let's start with that first one. Why even consider baptism? I mean, as a grown adult, like why get in a tub or a, a body of water and be dunked and get all wet? And the biggest reason for that is Jesus's example to us. Like we can see in biblical times, people got baptized to repent and have this moment where they basically are putting their foot down to say, no more, I'm changing. That's what John the, Baptism, or John the Baptist helped people with when they wanted to repent or stop doing certain things. They would declare it publicly or religiously in a setting like that by being baptized, stating, I'm no longer that person or I no longer want to be known by that thing. And that's great. But the real reason for us today is, is more so because of Jesus. Like Jesus did it in Matthew 3. And he also tells us to become disciples who are baptized in Matthew 28. And this baptism is a bit different than John's because it's a baptism to show repentance from all of life, of doing it on our own without God and declaring our life to be set on following Jesus. As Christians, literal followers of Jesus, we, we both want to follow his example and we both want to follow his direction. That's why you should ultimately do it. But some of, you, some of you might have some confusion. Like, I was baptized as a baby. Should I still get baptized? And scripture points to a yes, you should. Um, being baptized as a baby can be an immensely special thing for your parents and, and even you. But the thing is, that is, it wasn't your decision. Throughout all of scripture, we see Jesus gives us, the individual, the opportunity to choose to follow him or not, to choose to repent of our ways or not. And that decision being ours is the same with baptism. We see in Acts 2.38, the disciples, they're, they're sharing about Jesus to thousands of people. And then when people make these real personal decisions about following him, Peter tells them, these people, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. Being baptized as a baby, it's a great, memorable moment for those that remember it and made the decision for it for you. But baptism, as we see in Scripture, is meant for you to make and for you to remember. So that maybe leads to the next question of what does it look like to get baptized as an adult? Well, in scripture, we see they would be by a body of water, they would enter into it, and then dunked under the water, and then brought back up. And it was full immersion. And the reason being is it was symbolically uh, a, a way to show new birth. Like when you are going underwater, again, it's just symbolic, but you are putting to death life before Christ. And then when you come up, you're representing this new person, this person that's fully set on following God. The immersion is meant to be a symbolic moment for you and others around you showing you believe that. It's not magical, but it's a moment for you to look back on in the future and remember that even in our future mess-ups, you are united to Christ and forever forgiven and pursuing Him. Which typically leads to the next question. Do I have to be immersed fully into the water? And, and the answer to this question also kind of answers the next question that uh, I brought up in the beginning of, do I need to be baptized to be saved or have salvation? So to kind of answer the first question, like, do I need to be immersed? The answer is sort of. Um, the reason being is that's what we saw people did in biblical times. And as a Bible-following church, we are simply doing everything we can to follow it as closely as possible. 
But to answer the second question, do you need to be baptized to be saved or to be a Christian? The answer is no. When you look to the common theme of what saves someone in the Bible, um, Ephesians 2.8, it clearly shows us that it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. So it's not about an action or a works-based thing that saves you, but it's about a faith decision, a decision inside your heart and your mind that you need Jesus and want to follow him. That's what saves you. But choosing to be baptized or choosing to do baptism is you submitting to God's direction and example that many times is for you and those around you to see. It's meant to help catapult your faith, to help grow you into a deeper place in your faith. So with all that said, like if you are uncomfortable with full immersion or medically can't at the time or whatever it maybe is, again, no worries. We, we would love to help accommodate you and do something similar to full immersion of baptism. But we also want to try and stick to doing it as pure and as true to the Bible as possible. The last thing you might be wondering uh, about baptism is like, what do I need to do to get baptized if I am interested? And honestly, the only prerequisite is that you are a professing Christian. If you believe that you need Jesus in your life for your forgiveness and are set on submitting to him and following him with your life, you are ready. We ask for you to show that to us as a church by simply filling out an application. But from there, once the form is filled out, we are ready to get you baptized. Um, baptism is this incredibly powerful moment where faith gets put into action, where you get to show the world and yourself the decision you've made in your head and your heart to follow Jesus. If you're ready to get baptized, fill out the form, and let's get ready to celebrate your decision at the next Centerpoint Baptism.